I'm sure at first glance this looks like a giant mess. But keep in mind, although you could use it for students, this is a planning document. It's for you to help plan out what links you're going to use, what additional media you might need, the parts of the HyperDoc. And I'm just going to walk through this real quick. Um, this is the project sections link map. And so I knew that there was a section that's going to be about the user interface. Um, and it turns out I didn't use it. I, I planned it out, but I thought, ah, I, I could use this for something better. The Microsoft Word PowerPoint features. Um, and then there was the, the zones. So there's the one, two, three, four uh, for zone three, the three different things that I was going to plan out. And then uh, the compile the activities for section four where, where you guys plan and apply what it is that you were doing. Uh, your projects that you're going to make, the practice that you're going to do for making uh, a hyperdoc. The, the tool I used is called Coggle. And as a matter of fact, uh, let's go there just so you could see it. So let me move it in here so it's a little easier to see. This is a Coggle uh, website that I used to make that map. And I also used it inside my doctoral training program um, for a variety of different things. Uh, this is a Coggle that was done for level one pro applying for a, a program that I was making similar to this, but had different content. Um, this one was for a project based learning diagram that I was just trying to plan out. Uh, this is for a video game I'm working on, and it's just a plot and sequence of what happens during the video game. So this was the document that I used to plan this out, this particular project. And I can move it around. I can uh, switch things and change the directions of stuff just so I can make sure that it puts in there. I can, I can add uh, new sections like, oh, OK, I need to add something to that um, or not. I can, I can also get rid of it pretty easily. Just, you know, see you later. Now, I paid probably $4 a month to use this thing. And uh, I use it frequently, but not all the time. Uh, but it also gives me like extra abilities to add colors and changes things. There is a free version, but it's much less flexible. So if you like this, feel free to uh, use it. And uh, it's a very powerful tool for planning. So that brings us back here. I wanted to show you what this looked like just so you could see a little bit of how my planning process worked to give you an idea of when you start building your own, where would you start planning? So you can use this if you want. There's obviously no uh, mandate that you have to. I'm just giving you an extra tool that you can use so that this process is less daunting, less uh, crazy sounding, and less difficult, and maybe make it a little easier.